Hi guys. Um, welcome to Beauty Biz with Hill. We're going to talk a little bit today. I have hair stuck in my mouth somewhere. Probably should retake this, but I'm not going to. Um, we are still talking about building a clientele. And these are just little pieces and things you need. So today we're going to talk about rebooking clients and running on time. And yeah, those are our two topics. So let's do running on time first. Um, guys, this is really important and it really is up to you to make sure you're allowing enough time in your appointments to accomplish what you need to. Um, so this takes some training and communication with your clients. So we need to do a little bit of consult when we're booking them. I always burp. I swear I always burp because <laughs> I get nervous. Um, okay. When you're rebooking your clients or when you're booking them your first time, you need to do a consult on the phone and you need to basically get to really quickly the meat of what they need. So if this is nails, I'm like, do you want gel polish, full set, fill? Those are my basics. Now if we're talking about feet, are you wanting pedicure or gel toes? So that you know your basic services. That's really important. If it's hair, you need color, you need cut. And then I know hair is more involved. Like are we doing balayage? Are we doing full highlight? Are we doing partial? Um, that takes some training with your client, basically some communication in that initial consult so that the appointment is booked correctly. So it's really, really, really important. If you have somebody at your salon who's booking your appointments for you, communicate with them like crazy so that they know what you really need and questions to ask clients to call in. Now, once they're in your chair, um, you need to make sure you're starting them on time. Now we're all human. Okay. And they may be a couple minutes late and you can't hold that against them because there may be times you're running a couple minutes late too. I want your goal to be to run on time, which means you're going to be looking at the clock a little bit. You need to divide your appointment up. So with nails, I have my prep work, I have my application time and I have my finish work. Um, I have an app on my phone that I just set next to me on the side. That's called clocks with an S it is an Apple. Uh, it might be on Android now too. And you can just like dim it and you can see the time that way. I'm not turning and looking at the clock or looking up at the clock behind them or something that's super obvious. And my clients know it's right there. And I'm like, it just helps me stay on time. So I don't take your whole day up easy, quick, positive delivery. If you do hair, set it on your station. It is okay for them to know that you value their time and you don't want to take up their whole day. I can't tell you how much it drives me crazy. Even if I just go get a simple blow dry or something and they take up two hours of my day when I'm like, I could have done this faster myself. Um, you've got to, you've got to value it. Time is the only thing we can't replace. And so it's the most valuable. Okay. And then when you are working, you need to pay attention. Just little glances, make sure you're running on time for things. Um, if a client wants to add things on and you don't have time, that all comes down to positive communication of what we've booked, what we have time for. If you do have time, do it. But the goal is to get them out in an orderly, timely way so that they can have their day and you can also have your day. Now, if they're running late, there is going to be a time cut off that you just need to know when you can't pull it off and you just need to communicate with them just like you're human. What I have seen all too often is people are like, Oh, nine minutes. I can't do her anymore. And then their next appointment, you make them wait 20 minutes. Do you see where that's like a conflict for clients? That's really frustrating. So reevaluate your service times and give yourself some time. And then as you get better and better and better, or you build your clientele to be really regular, you will basically know what they're coming in for. And that's when you can start shortening times, start really maximizing your income. But until you have that repeat clientele, um, shortening your times like crazy can get you into some trouble with running on time. Being on time is a huge value because we can't replace time. You need to value your client's time. So then your app, so you've got your prep work, your application, your finish work. That's me. When it comes to part of my finish time, I account in there reburking, reburking, hmm, rebooking my client. You need to rebook your client for their next service. If you don't rebook them, then one thing is they don't feel like they have a home. At least ask them. I hate when I get a service done and I'm like, so can we rebook? Cause I feel like maybe they don't want me or like maybe I was a hard client and I didn't mean to be, or I mean, maybe I'm just too worried about things, but create a home for your client. You need to ask them if they want to rebook. And it's as simple as this. Hey, do you want to rebook so you can get a convenient time for yourself? Things do fill up, especially as we're heading into the holidays here. 
That's it. If they say, well, no, I'm not sure, don't push. I have known in my experience, I knew somebody who pushed, pushed, pushed rebooking. You know what she had? A ton of no-shows because people didn't want to rebook. If your client's like, no, I'll call you or no, I'll book online. Great, great, great. At least you created a home for them. But what will happen is your clients start to be like, ooh, this was a trickier time. Can we rebook to get a convenient time? Absolutely. Let's do that. Um, and then my key is I have them booked out at least two appointments so that you kind of know what's coming. Further than that can be tricky. There's an argument that like, then you might have to reschedule a lot if you go on vacation or something like that. That's fine. Once you know your clients really, really well, you guys can decide how far out you want to book, but I'm going to tell you your goal is to be booked out two appointments with every single client so that you know what availability you really have. So recap, please work to stay on time. And the way you do that is one, you're going to build a consistent clientele by being on time, which means you have to allow the right amount of service time, which means you've got to do a good consult when you're booking that appointment. And then you're going to rebook them. Hey, I hope this really, really helped you guys today. Comment below. Let me know. I really appreciate you watching these. This is like a different thing I'm doing instead of just showing you nails. And I'm hoping it brings tons of value to you because I'm telling you, this is how you make tons of money in the beauty business is by these beauty business tips that will absolutely work if you apply them. So let me know if you're applying them and how it goes. Have a great day.